Okay, it's going to do this, the daily climb. I guess it's called the daily climb. No, it's called the daily climb in one context, but daily challenge in another. All right, it's the silent, and starting deck is replaced with one of every rare card. I love this one. I don't think I've had this with the silent before. I think I've had it with the defect. Big Game Hunter Elites are now swarming the spire and drop better rewards. I've had that before and I haven't really noticed them being that much more common. Um, the map only contains one path. I don't like that one because it just makes it more boring. But shiny is cool. Let's see what all the rare cards are. Um, and Venom is great. Burst is great. Tools of the Trade is great. Oh, it's got. I'm playing with gamepad and it's. Um, I can't scroll up now. I'm, I'm stuck at the bottom of the list. <laughs> on mouse or, or gamepad or keyboard or anything. So I guess I won't know what the others are. <laughs> oh, so elites being everywhere and not getting to choose your path is maybe a, a harsh combo. Alright, talk the trade is just one extra card per turn. Ooh, bullet time's great because it just means I can cast all these other things. But if there's anything that... Ooh, discard all non-attack cards. Yeah, I think this is going to go really well. <laughs> Because billet time will reduce the cost of all these to zero. Um, and I'll do this one next. Because it affects all the other cards. Oh no, and that one. Um, oh wait, this one is... Uh, next skill is paid twice. This is the only skill I had, I think. So it's not going to do anything. And it doesn't make any difference whether I play that or not. I'll just kill that guy. Do you know what? I'm actually going to take damage. <laughs> That was a crazy good hand, but it wasn't actually enough to protect me entirely. Uh, I get to discard one. Huh. Uh, glass knife ought to do it. I should have looked actually... Oh! I should have stayed in that fight, because I've got Alchemize, and... Well, I think I'll take Crippling Cloud. I'm interested in that one. Um, that weakens and poisons everyone. So Alchemy gives you a potion, and a potion is one of the only things I can do in th with this deck that persists from one fight to the next. I get to keep the potion after the fight's over. Whereas, you know, no matter how much block you build, um, you're never going to... Uh, never going to carry it over. I like After Image a lot. That's... Oh, okay, that doesn't give you more block, it just means you start with it. That's still very good, though. Every time you play a card, that's going to be, like, usually three per turn or more. Hmm, I suppose it's not that great. Jeez, that could be a 24 damage, 1 cost card. That's pretty great. 7 poison to everyone? That's amazing, actually. I don't... I mean, it's not really going to be a poisony deck, is it? Because I've just got so much other shit. <laughs> Mind you, I've got Envenom and Corpse Explosion. I don't have Catalyst, do I? No, I guess that's not a rare card. Upgrading this is fun because the next two skills are paid twice, but I just have so few skills. I got it's all powers mostly. Um, all the trade, but oh, that just costs zero. Yeah, that's not that interesting. I might go for tactician or bullet time gets cheaper. That doesn't really matter because you've got the three energy you need. After you spend it, you don't need any more energy. The only thing it costing less is useful for is if you've got another card that draws cards because you want to play that. Then you want to play bullet time. Because bullet time prevents card draw. Uh, that doesn't do. Oh, it does two damage for every card. So that's like six plus damage to all enemies every turn. That's pretty good. Costs two to play though, so any turn where you need a lot of block is going to be. I have no block, by the way. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. So maybe I should do um, blur. That would be interesting to me anyway. And since I have no other block, <laughs> I better do it. Remove a card. Okay, I'm going to remove this um, tactician one. You can't play it at all. You know, it's kind of garbage. Okay. After image it is. Wraithform's actually going to be a really good... Oh yeah, so Wraithform it make, makes you intangible for three turns. That means all damage is reduced to one. Um, and the downside is you lose one dexterity every turn from then on, which is usually terrible, except dexterity only affects the block that cards give you. And I don't have any block cards. <laughs> so uh, 
I think I'm going to do this instead of after image. That won't always be my starting hand, so after image will be useful when it's not. If there are no cards in your draw pile, well, I'm not going to get rid of seven cards, am I? Now, if I did burst and then storm of steel, one shiv to a hand for each card discarded, um, it would discard my whole hand. Uh, presumably, storm of steel is gone by the time it takes effect, so that's four cards, so four shivs. And then burst would make it play again, and so that would just discard the four shivs and draw four more shivs, right? I don't think there's any advantage to that. So I think I might just do Alchemize. Talk to the traders good too. But hopefully this fight is not going to last too long. And that's a power thing? No, it's plated armor. Good to just get some basic damage. No block at all. Unload. 12 damage. Scarlet all. Oh, this could be good. Um, I can give myself more cards and more energy next turn and double all my attacks and if I use bullet time hmm, this could be interesting discard all non-attack cards so if I use nightmare and then treble this one this adds it to my hand, right? nope, apparently not <laughs> where did it go? Uh, is that because I did bullet time? Nightmare can't copy the card? Oh, I don't have any energy left. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, well. Oh, what? Oh, that card discards everything else? Oh, Jesus. I'm not used to these cards. <laughs> oh, no. Adds the unload to your next hand. Okay. Oh, I got bullet time again. Okay, that's great. Um... And then I got Phantasmal Killer again. Did I? I don't quite understand how I got all those back. Uh, but I'm going to do... I might as well do Adrenaline first because it's going to draw me some more cards. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. <laughs> I've got a lot of fucking things. I think this is going to be over a lot. Um, a lot quicker than it needs to be. I'm just going to cast this. Just because I don't usually get to cast it. And then... Uh, there's absolutely no point in me playing these, but I just want to for the sake of it. Alright. I sometimes, like, actually slow down when there's low... when it really doesn't matter what I do. <laughs> there's, like, five cards there that all would end the fight. And uh, that gives me decision paralysis almost as badly as when it really matters what I play. Um, one or the other of these could be good. I really just want some block, though. No, not poison. Um, draw three cards and discard one card. That is pretty good. But it costs an energy. I think I'm going to skip it. If and when I do get a block card, I want it to come up as much as possible. Ooh. Same old trick. Oh, this is great. So, adrenaline to get the extra cards, bullet time to make them all cost zero. Um, wraith form, might as well, because the downside is nothing. Uh, downside of wraith form, the lack of dexterity, doesn't actually affect the one block I get from this card. So that's cool. Do that, I'll do that. Um, I do actually have one energy left. How is that possible? Oh, the adrenaline gave me two extra. So that does, that is a benefit. Might as well do it. And... I guess I'll get one shiv. <laughs> so a bullet time hand is probably like the best case scenario for... Um, for... Uh, sorry. Best case scenario for blur, or after image, whatever it's called. The one where you get... Um, don't worry, get block for every card you play because you're going to play a lot of cards. You have a lot of cards and they're all free. All my attack damage is really low. What am I going to discard? I think I'm probably going to discard Nightmare. I don't think I have anything in my hand that's so good I want to triple it. Um, might as well do that. 
cheap and powerful. Uh, that's 12, that one's 9. So I'll do this. I can actually just end it, but I think I'll cast Alchemize first. Because that potion will be useful. Oh, that's Fairy in a Bottle. That will make me survive. Oh, and I can still end it. Great. Um, once again, no block of any kind. That one applies weak, which I suppose is potentially advantageous. I think I might upgrade... What happens if I upgrade Nightmare? Can't see, because of the tooltip. Uh, it just makes it cheaper. Which is good, but... I'm tempted to do... I got 2,000 cuts. It hasn't come up that much. I kind of want this 7 poison. It's kind of great, isn't it? Ah. 7 poison all of these would be awesome, but they all have artifact on them, which is going to protect them. Alright, adrenaline and bullet time again. I guess it's actually not that big of a deck, so it's quite common to get everything. Or, you know, any two particular cards. Now, what skills do I have? I only have Alchemize. So I could... I guess I might as well... Oh, I should have drawn... If I'd used that potion first, I could have... Um, drawn three cards. I think that won't let me draw three cards if I use it now, so it'll just be a waste of a potion. So there is no reason to, to use Burst on Alchemize, but I might as well use Alchemize anyway. Because three cards is pretty good. I don't want to just discard it. Especially since I can use Bullet Time. And that... Yeah, I could get rid of that. Nah, I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to do After Image first, because... Then all these cards will get me some block. Oh, and that's... Yeah, that means it's worth playing it first, even if it does nothing. Yeah, if that second potion was lost, because I didn't have room for it. Um... Oh, this gets me a skill. <laughs> I could have done that with that at the start of this. Oh shit, I forgot to play this one first. Okay, and lots of damage for everyone. And then... Ah, oh, that took off all of their... Oh, because I had it in Venom, and then I used an attack that hits everybody. All of them technically got some poison there, and their artifact blocked it, but it used up their artifact. So when I get Crippling Cloud, it'll actually work on everyone. That's great. This guy's the weakest, so I'll go for him. Ooh, and they got two poison. Something else happened there? It seemed like something just affected all of them. And that got me enough block to protect me. That's really good. I can't... One well, downside of the controller controls at the moment is that they... It's hard to unselect things. <laughs> like, I don't want to select anything right now. I just want all the tooltips off screen. But that is not how it works. That will discard all non-attack cards. So let's play those first. Okay, I could do Corpse Explosion, but... It, oh no, I'll do... I don't have enough energy for it, but... Um, I will do Crippling Cloud, because that's just going to... And that just hurt everyone, because it's a... Okay, cool. Um, and then, yeah, let's hit that guy. Oh, I can't see... Oh yeah, that guy's going to die before he attacks me. Brilliant. Yeah, I wish pressing B, for example. Uh-oh. Oh, that's weird. I ended my turn, but nothing happened for a long time. I wish pressing B just deselected everything on the gamepad. That would be good. Uh, hey, look. There are no cards in my draw pile. I actually can play that. Awesome. Additional 15 HP when you rest. Oh, man, I can have another nightmare. I don't want another nightmare. <laughs> Tools of the trade is good, though. I'll take that. Really want some block. There's going to come a time when I can't just bullshit my way past all the damage I'm taking. Hey, did I get bullet time? I didn't this time. But adrenaline might give it to me. It didn't... Is there anything else that draws cards? I've already got eight, so if I use this card drawing potion, I'll get two more. What are my chances of getting bullet time? Not that high, actually. Uh, plus, I think I can kill one of these guys with glass knife. And... What's this? 13 damage to all. Oh, that would kill two of them straight up. And then that kills me. <laughs> I do have a lot of damage in this deck, it's got to be said. I 
think I want another Crippling Cloud. I think it's really good. Certainly for multiple enemies. Ah, when you rest you can add a Cardio deck. That's cool. Although I think I'd still rather upgrade most of the time. Ah, now this guy hates it when he plays skills. Um, so actually I might use this skill potion to get a skill. And this lets me put something on top of my draw pile and it costs zero. So maybe I, I use Nightmare for that? Or Wraithform. Because Wraithform is not a skill, but it will protect me from all of his damage. And I don't need it this turn. I could play it this turn, but then I'm wasting one of the three intangibles because I'm not getting attacked this turn. So I think I'm going to Wraithform, Wraithform in my next hand, and it's going to be free, which is huge. Um, could have done it with Nightmare, but I don't know what I would clone exactly. So... We definitely want after image and tools of the trade. Uh, shall I alchemize or doppelganger? I think I'll alchemize. I'm not that scared of what's going to happen next because of that trick I just did. And I can't. That can't be played. Okay. Sometimes it's worth playing a card that doesn't do anything just because I've got these bonus effects for playing cards. Okay, so I've got Wraith Form. That's good. I got bullet time. I got to discard one of these. That's less good. I want to keep in venom. I want to keep glass knife. Tools to trade. I could lose. That's the least important one. Yeah, because bullet time's going to let me play all these other things. Um, and so uh, bullet time first. Obviously, going to do that. Going to do that. And Crippling Cloud, sorry, yeah, Crippling Cloud, because it's a skill that will make him angry, but I'm basically invulnerable for three turns. I think it's worth the seven poison to do that. And actually, I'm going to make him vulnerable before I cast my Glass Knife. So that's decent. It's actually not quite as good as I thought it would be. Uh, okay, what am I going to discard here? Probably don't want burst, because that just lets me... Oh, I definitely don't want that. Do I? No. Um, thousand Cuts. Oh, if I do cut Thousand Cuts, I can't do Crippling Cloud. These, are, these two are both skills. Oh, you know what? I could do Double Crippling Cloud. And that's two skills. Three skills, actually, because this burst is a skill in itself, then it casts a skill twice, so that's three. But it would do so much damage that I think it wouldn't matter that he gets angry because he won't get to hit me before my intangible wears off. So I'm actually going to do Adrenaline first because I want to do all of these things. Um, then I'll do Burst. Then I'll do Crippling Cloud. Just going to do give him 16 poison total. He's fucking furious now. <laughs> I'm fucked once it all wears off. So that does 12 damage. This does 13 damage to all enemies. I don't see why I wouldn't just do this. Alright, down to 33, and he's got 17 poison. I think we're good. I've got two more turns of intangible. Yeah, he's dead next turn. Perfect. Well, this might be one of the few builds where this guy is not that much of a problem. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to do that. Oh, I can corpse explode him. <laughs> Didn't need to, but... Oh, those are all good. Okay, I don't want another Alchemize. Dino Die is pretty good, actually. Wouldn't normally go for that card, but I've already got one and I just <laughs> really want some block one day. Hasn't been a problem so far, but it will be. I'm going to smith. Oh, I could actually have rested just to get the choice of cards. This doesn't do two poison if you increase it, right? No, I just I assume that got cheaper, yeah. Um, maybe I'll upgrade my other Crippling Cloud. I'm quite a fan of these. And I've got Corpse Explosion, so giving them poison is a big deal, actually. Okay. Ooh, got bullet time. I don't have adrenaline this time. So it doesn't matter. There's no point in doing burst and bullet time, is there? Oh, you know what I could do? Should be kind of mad. I could use burst on doppelganger. So burst would cost me one, I'd have two energy left. But then doppelganger gets cast twice, and the second cast is free. So it would give me four energy and four extra cards next turn. 
um, only costing me two this turn. The problem is I'm actually going to take damage this turn, so if there is some way I can stop that, that would be nice. There isn't really. I can play this, and then I can play at most two cards. Maybe three. Oh yeah, actually I can play three. Um, which is not brilliant, but... Wait, why don't I just do bullet time? If I do bullet time, I can play loads of cards. Yeah, I should do that, obviously. After image as early as possible, thousand cuts as early as possible, tools of the trade, and burst and doppelganger don't do anything, but I'm going to do them anyway, just because playing cards is good for me. And burst first, so the doppelganger does technically get cast twice, so I get the protection. Still going to take some damage, because of that whole not having any block thing. <laughs> um... Uh, grand Finale is useless to me in this hand, so I'll discard that. Now, is there anything I can do? It'd be quite interesting to do three versions of Glass Knife. That does 16 damage, so that would kill him next turn. Can I kill him this turn? I can't, can I? This is my only damage dealing card. And it's not going to cut it. What is it? Nightmare... Next turn, add three copies of the card to your hand. So it doesn't put them in your draw pile now. Because if I did that, I could put them in my draw pile and then and then use my potion to draw the cards. But it doesn't. So... Since I can't protect myself, I can't kill him this turn. There's no upside to anything that isn't just giving myself three glass knives next turn. And I've just got to take the damage, I think. Yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> this is pretty good. Only need two of them. Now, do I want? I've got this. I've got two life savers here. One resurrects me, and one gets me out of a battle. Um, maybe a smoke bomb isn't really worth it. Or, if I know I'm going to die, I can leave the fight then. But I can't do that in boss fights, and boss fights are where I'm likely to die, so Smoke Bomb is not as good as Fairy in a Bottle. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna discard this one. Skill Potion. Skill Potion is not necessarily better, but... Ah! A block card! Ooh, that's a block card too. Hmm. I mean, shift, I'm not doing a shift deck, but that is more block than... Oh, it's more block than Backfit, but if you upgrade Backfit its block gets bigger, and if you upgrade Cloak and Dagger, it doesn't. It just gives you more shivs. I think I'll do backflip. Make that my priority for... Okay, this is interesting. Got bullet time. I think I'm going to... If I do this, I'll get 10 cards. It's going to be a relatively tough fight, so it's worth doing. Uh, do I have Adrenaline? No. So this is great, actually, because there's three cards that cost three and I'm going to play them all. And, ooh, ooh, yes, I'm going to do the glass knife trick again because uh, I can, but also I'm going to cast Phantasmal T Killer this turn, which means I'm going to do double damage on the same turn that I'm doing three glass knives. Okay, so after image first do I have thousand cuts? I don't. Tools the trade. Wraith form. I mean, I could triple Crippling Cloud, but it costs two per cast. And it costs zero right now, so it's tempting to think it will copy that zero as well, and then it will get three free versions. If that was true, I'd definitely do it. I don't think it is true. I think I've, I've tried that before, and it comes back with its, its default cost. So I'll do the Glass Knife trick. I think Glass Knife trick's going to be real good. And I still got to keep my Glass Knife. And does he have an artifact? He doesn't actually, so this will work. Oh, and then I get to do corpse explosion on him, that's fantastic. And this will do nothing, but it's worth casting, just gives me. No, it wasn't actually. <laughs> it didn't really matter if I cast it or not. Okay. He's still got a lot of health, but look at all this shit I can do. Uh, Grand Finale, I've... oh Jesus, it would do 80 damage if I could cast it, but I can't, can I? I've actually got a lot of damage here. 
um, got more damage than I have energy. You know, I have burst, and so it might... Well, hang on. 16 damage twice. These are 32 each. So this just kills him. I don't need to do anything else. Yep, that's a good trick. <laughs> Not often I kill that guy in turn two. Another wraith form. Oh, both those are really good. I feel like I've been getting offered a lot of rare cards. I guess it's because it's giving me a lot of elites. I think I want another wraith form. Because if you can have, in total, six intangible, that's just going to last. Then I don't need block. You know, this is more block, but it's never going to keep pace. You know, maybe this gives me six block per turn if I have this and the other after image going at once. But that's still not going to keep up with the big enemies. Okay, a shop, and I've got a whole load of money. Unfortunately, none of these are that great. Not really going for shivs. One strength. Um, that's really good for a shiv deck. You can dig for loot at rest sites. That's kind of wild. I think I want to upgrade at rest sites, though. Whenever you discard a card during a turn, gain three block. I'm not doing a huge amount of discarding. I don't really need block anymore. <laughs> what I'd love is something like um, Secret Technique, which lets you pick a skill and draw it, because... Oh no, actually, Wraith Forms are power, so that wouldn't help me. I want ways to get Wraith Form sooner. If I can get both those Wraith Forms early, then I've got six turns to do whatever I want. What is that? Oh, an intangible in a jar. That's fun. I think I've never found that potion. I think I might have seen it in shops before. I could actually remove something from my deck. I'm tempted to do Acrobatics. You know, Acrobatics isn't that good for drawing Nightmare. Sorry, for drawing Wraith Form, because it costs an energy. And so by the time you get your Wraith Form, you can't afford to play it. Unless you've also got adrenaline. I'm going to look at what I've got and see if there's something I want to remove. I could remove Alchemizer, really. In Venom, I'm just not doing that much attacking. I mean, I'm doing high damage attacks. So, one extra poison on each of them is not that big a deal. Storm of Steel is really not that good. Because they just don't have like a huge number of yeah, that's very much a shiv card, and we're not doing a shiv deck. So that's a definite. I'm sort of tempted to just not get anything else. Could get acrobatics. But ultimately, it's, yeah, it's more likely to interfere with my ability to get Nightmare. I think I'm just going to leave it and hope I make it to another shop. Um, now, do I rest or upgrade? Heal 21. Oh, I heal loads, actually. Um, so I'd heal to full which is 17 health or I could upgrade and if I upgraded I could upgrade I can't remember what upgrading Wraith Form does does it make it innate or do you gain more intangible? I think you might gain more intangible that could be really good I should do that because I don't need health if I'm intangible I mean I have to get the Wraith Form in the first place do I only have one? no I've got two. Oh yeah it gets you more intangible and is it cheaper? no it's not I think that's still good though. Whole extra turn has got to be. Okay. I didn't get given Wraithful. Oh no, I did get given Wraithful. Okay, so I should do that? Isn't this weird? I'm tempted to not play it. <laughs> Even though I just invested in it heavily. Doesn't. He's going to defend himself this turn. I think next turn he does a big attack. So I should, I should play it. Yeah. It's only two turns I've got to spend on this, and then... Gosh, Grand Finale's free. That's really cool. Would be nice to have After Image this early, but... <laughs> Charging up for my one damage attack. Ah, oh, there's the other Wraith Form. Okay, great. So, yes, that was two turns, but... I mean, a boss is the worst case scenario for this. Um... Oh, I can do Glass Knife. And it's 16 each. I think that's better than doing the Crippling Cloud. Crippling Cloud is ultimately 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus... Blah, blah, blah. It's, it's a decent amount. It's um, in the region of like 25 damage, I think. This is 16, but it's immediate. Oh, I'm kind of talking myself into playing Crippling Cloud. No, but that costs 2, and Glass Knife costs 1. So 
Let's just do this. Trouble is, oh no, if it does a big attack next time, it doesn't matter because. Ah, so you can actually. Um, cause four damage to me, which is a shame. I actually have enough to use this as well. Zero block, really. I've lost so much dexterity already. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Gonna cast a lot of cards. Um, this one first, I think. Doesn't really matter of order. Definitely doing that. Um, can't do that. That does nothing. Uh, don't class that just yet. Ooh, only six damage choice. I actually kind of wish I had Invenom now. And that made him change, that's cool. Uh, I will do this. And I will do that. And then I'll, I can't play that. Haven't done that much damage, actually. That was kind of my... That was my big turn, and I didn't really do the trick. Uh, I guess I won't do Corpse Explosion... I do have Venom. What skill? Oh, Alchemize is a skill. Crippling Cloud is a skill. So maybe I do Burst and Crippling Cloud. Then I can't do Glass Knife or Venom. So I could do Venom and Glass Knife, or I could do Burst and Crippling Cloud. That would be 14 extra poison. I think that's probably the best move. Yeah. I mean, immediate damage is better because I'm going to run out of intangible in three turns. But building up poison's good. No, building up poison's good because um, he is going to. God, I just keep getting glass knife. Oh, it's because I've got three copies of it, you idiot. <laughs> um, I probably won't play this. Actually, I might as well go rid of that. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to play after image. And he's got thorns right now, so I actually don't really want to. Hit him. So in that case, wouldn't it better to cast Thousand Cuts? Yes. Huh. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep. What is it? Double the poison does 36 damage. Um. Yeah, I don't think I want to cast that. Oh wait, um, what does backflip do? Nothing. So I'll get rid of that, because I'm going to cast bullet time. So I'll definitely do that. I'll definitely do that. So I could do Corpse Explosion to do 36 damage now, which would be almost enough. Uh, with unload, it would be enough to get him out of his attack phase and get back into the other phase. But actually, it doesn't matter, because he's only going to do four damage to me. No, he's going to do zero damage to me, because I've got four block. <laughs> Sorry, I won't cast that. I'd rather not cast that, even when it's free. The poison cost is the real cost there. Am I out of intangible now? Yeah, I am. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, look at this. Three glass knives. Um, I'm not going to do back am I? I'm just going to do Glass Knife three times. Oh, he's going to change. Hopefully he doesn't get the thorns right away. I don't think he does. No. And even when my Glass Knives are blocked, they're adding to his poison, which is good. Okay, so... It's going to be a rough time damage-wise, but he's taking so much poison now. And if I get Corpse Explosion, it's over. I got Corpse Explosion. <laughs> Alright, just about made it. It was a little bit touch and go. Okay, three vulnerable. I think that's better than the skill. Wow. It's just always offering me rare cards. Uh, maybe after image? Yeah, two block for every card is decent, isn't it? And, you know, with boss fights, block is eventually a problem. Uh, no longer gain gold. Well, let me start with two strength. 
With intangible, that matters a lot less. It does, doesn't it? No longer getting gold means... bad things. Obtain a card, upgrade a card. Might regret it, but I think I'm going to do this. I want the extra energy. I have so many three cost cards that I think four energy I think is going to be good. Alright, so those guys... Yeah, if I don't have Wraith Form this turn, it gets ugly, because <laughs> that's 30 damage right away. Um, let's see, there's no... No bullet time. Oh, and I could still do after image. I could have done that first, really. Actually, even with intangible, these guys are quite bad, because they... They do that. I'm actually in two minds as to whether to cast that. I suppose I should. And I can do tools to trade as well. I should have done glass knife as well. That was stupid. Okay. Uh, what don't I want here? Probably alchemize. We do adrenaline. Ah, I got bullet time. Perfect. And now... Oh, this is going to be interesting. If I do bullet time now... I can do doppelganger. You know, bullet time should make everything cost zero. It actually doesn't make doppelganger cost zero, because doppelganger kind of converts your energy. So this will... I should have played that first, obviously. Alright, <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, and I probably won't take damage. No, I won't. Still got five intangibles, so this is great. Okay. Uh, I've got bullet time again. And I've got six energy. And I can get two more cards with that. So I maybe don't discard that. Um, is there anything I don't want to cast? Actually, I don't think burst is going to help me. It's not, is it? Oh, Phantasmal... It can give me Phantasmal Killer twice. Alright. Uh, corpse Explosion's not going to help me. No one's poisoned yet. Oh, I have to choose two. Did I get Tools of the Trade twice? Okay, well that's also not going to happen. Um, so, I am going to use this just to draw some cards. I got Crippling Cloud, I like that a lot. Now I might burst on that. Yeah, I should burst on that, because these guys, while they're flying, they take half damage, but not from poison. So. Yep, no reason not to cast this now. I should have done Thousand Cuts first. 14 on all. Um... And I'll Nightmare on Glass Knife. And I'm casting Phantasmal Killer. I think this might just do for them. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's everyone. That's just everyone dead. <laughs> that's a pretty good turn. I can't see because the thing's blocking it, but I think I still have quite a lot of intangible left. Yeah, I had four intangible left. Okay, Bane is a good attack skill. Um, these are all pretty good, but I do like how small my deck is and how everything in it is really good. I mean, that's 20 damage. That's way better than Glass Dagger if people are actually poisoned. I'm not poisoning them all the time, though. No, I don't think I should take anything. Man, I actually lost quite a lot of health there. Ooh, I can, I can give them something. This is good, actually, because these guys, they like you if you give them something rare, and a lot of the things that in my deck are rare, but aren't necessarily that good. <laughs> so, I kind of think Grand Finale might be a good one. That's so rarely useful, isn't it? Yeah, it's just taking up space. They'll love it. Oh, they healed me to full HP. That's nice.
Oh, and max HP plus 10. That's great. You can give those guys a curse. Like, it's it's just a free way to remove something from your deck. And you're, I th don't think you're ever punished for it. But um, it uh, you get an actual... You don't get any, a reward if it's not a good card. If it's not a rare card. Okay. Uh, I want to cast all these things. <laughs> I especially want Phantasm or Killer because I want to kill these guys real fast. And Crippling Cloud's good for that too. But I think I've got to cast Wraith Form because they're going to do so much damage otherwise. What do these things do? Yeah, those could be useful. Oh, I can do After Image first. Because I have the... Actually, why do I want to do After Image? Why don't I just do Glass Knife first? What's that little splat on me? Oh, the dexterity thing. No? Yeah, dexterity. Okay, I got bullet time and adrenaline. That's what I like to see. And... I should cast it. Oh yeah, it's that same thing where I get to cast bullet time and doppelganger and actually get some benefit from it, which is cool. What do I want three copies of next turn? It's any card, so it could be a power. I guess I'll do die, 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 actually. I think that's only one energy. Crippling Cloud's great, but it's two energy. So, Oh no, let's play this first. Keep forgetting to play that card early. Yeah, this is great. Poison to all, damage to all, even more damage to all next turn. This is going to go well. This this fight is one of the biggest difficulty spikes, because these guys are both stealing your money, so it's super important to kill them as fast as possible. But they also do loads of damage, so you, like if you waste your cards, or if you spend your cards protecting yourself from the crazy damage they do, um, you don't get to kill them in time, which is rough. Okay, I mean, 13 damage to all three times <laughs> is hard to argue with, really, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I can't see this not killing him. Because <laughs> actually the thousand cuts finished him off there. Okay, so backflip. I mean, the one backflip I do have is not coming into effect, is it? Because I'm playing Wraithform first and then I'm losing all my dexterity, so I don't get any block from it anyway. Don't think it makes sense to take anything. Ooh. I've never had this event before. <laughs> it's a donation box. I can either steal their thing. Oh, maybe I have had this before. Ritual Dagger. Deal 9 damage. If it kills an enemy, permanently increase this card's damage by 3. But you can only use it once per game. And... I don't know, 9 damage for 1 is, like, not crazy. And if I used it, like, 3 times, it could be as high as 18. Which is good, but not amazing. I think I'll just take the gold, thanks. Aha. Sneko. Now, if I had some kind of... Hmm. Um, if I had a artifact potion, I would use it now to protect myself from the Sneko effect. Actually, some rare cards are expensive. The Sneko might be a, a net win for me. So I'm going to play After Image and my best Wraith form. Get four intangible. Yeah, I'll get rid of backflip next time I have the chance. Um, oh, so these are all random costs now. Actually, almost all of them stay the same cost. <laughs> Corpse Explosion is more expensive and it doesn't do anything. Um, so I think I can cast all of those, except Corpse Explosion. Um, so I think I'll put Vulnerable on him so that my alchemize will do something. And that's plated armor, is it? Yeah. Don't need that yet. Yeah, that helped there. You know, the weak effect of that um, poison card is actually useless to me because um, nothing costs anything. I think I'm going to keep the back clip because I'm going to do bullet time for free. I do bullet time. I mean, backflip and Adrillion 
for four energy, spending all of my energy. Then I'm going to cast bullet time for free. That's weird. I don't know what to discard here. They're all good. And I can cast them all. Maybe there's nothing I want three copies of? Uh, I kind of want three copies of Unload. A thousand cuts? Yeah, I think that's the least. It's still good, but it's the least good. So. Adrenaline's going to give me more energy, too. Oh, shit, that's fantastic. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> uh... Yep, that's next. And then I can actually Nightmare onto Glass Knife, which is awesome. It's my favourite thing to Nightmare. And then might as well get myself one extra energy and stuff. Definitely do that. Definitely do that. Definitely do that. <laughs> and definitely do that. Fucking hell. Thanks, Neko. Oh my god, they are zero cost. <laughs> I still don't think that's always true. I think... This is a bit of a madcap conspiracy theory, but I think they the reason they're zero cost is not because bullet time made them zero cost, but because that card was zero cost when it was drawn last time, and so its value is kind of coded into it this time. I don't really know. I might be just totally wrong on that. I've actually got four glass knives and I can cast them all. <laughs> so I don't think I need the backflip. Um, I don't need the wraith form. Ooh, that's kind of risky, isn't it? No, it's not risky. He's got 41 health. He's going to die. <laughs> going to die in two hits. Eight damage three times. That's 24 damage. Oh, it really costs four. That's pretty good, is it? No, it's not. I've already got tools of the trade, which lets me do that every turn. Oh, this is going to be rough. No, it's not, because I got my... Oh my god, look at this! I got Bullet Time and both Wraith Forms in the same hand, which means I can cast both Wraith Forms now, basically for free. That's fucking awesome. And I'll do... After Image... As early as possible. Yep, Wraith Forms are a really good card, you know. Uh, I don't think... I'm only going to take three damage per turn here. I'm going to play three cards, so I don't think I need to do plated armor. I've got this plated armor potion I could be using. Um, I could do the strength thing. Yeah, strength is not a big deal, really, so... Oh, and that got me artifact. That's great. Oh, shit. I, I thought that was to all enemies. I didn't realize I had to aim that. I would have gone for the net guy, I think, if I'd been aiming that. Wow, I've got energy left over. Okay, well I certainly can't cast all these. Definitely want Glass Knife. I kind of want Invenom, actually. Don't want Corpse Explosion. Oh no, I want Crippling Cloud, that's what I want. Yeah. I might as well finish this guy off as soon as possible now that I've committed to taking him. <laughs> Still take no damage because only two of them are attacking this time. Okay. Possibly. I've got something to doppelganger. Oh no, that was stupid actually, because I'm going to get extra energy from this. Right, now what do I want to do? I kind of want to do. Oh, I can burst Crippling Cloud. That's a cool move. And maybe I. Don't really need that after image. What else would I spend the one energy on? Backflip? No. I'll do the after image. I don't know, if you cast Phantasmal Killer twice, does it quadruple your damage next turn, or does it double your damage for two turns? I bet it's for two turns. Oh, I still have one energy. Oh, did I misjudge that? Fuck, I could have done Phantasmal Killer as well. Okay, I like that. Ooh, actually, no. Corpse Explosion's going to save me here. Right? Yeah. Random colourless card to your hand. I think I will take that. 
Uh, power potion, I think I like that more than I like this armor one. Okay. Corpse explosion upgraded. <laughs> it's three times the damage. I think I just want glass knife though. Glass knife's been really good to me. And that's an upgraded one. Uh, one of 20 cards, yes please. 99 all. I don't usually get this one, and it's actually pretty cool. So no block cards. I've got myself sorted for that. Draw cards until you have six in your hand. That's an interesting one. Add a random skill to your hand, and it costs zero. I'm kind of tempted to go for Terra. Because they do play a lot of attacks. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Bane is good too. Oh, 518. This is good. Masterful Stab. Not so sure about that. Um, Mind Blast is very good. Because uh, innate means it starts in your hand. Oh, these are all upgraded because... Ah. What was a card? Just then I was offered a card and I thought if it was the upgraded version I would have taken it. But it wasn't. All attacks should be upgraded when, even when they're offered to me. Because that's what the egg does. It says it's when you receive an attack card, but actually even when they're just on offer you see the upgraded version because that is what you'd get if you accepted it. Which is good. Um, so my blast is good because it, it the damage is how many cards in your draw pile. If it's innate... It's always in your starting hand. Your starting hand is five cards. Oh no, with, actually with me it's seven cards because the silent gets extra. Um, and so that leaves 17. So it does 17 damage for free. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's less useful after that, of course, because it it's not, doesn't get exhausted. It keeps coming up. Don't pay any attacks, gain an extra thing. Don't care about that. Start of each combat draw two additional cards. So that's just, that does not sit well with Mind Blast, because it makes Mind Blast less effective. But having two additional cards at the start of combat, I think that's better, because I'm going to get that... Um, what do you call it? Oh yeah, I definitely want this, because I might get bullet time. That time when I got the intangibles and the bullet time all at once was incredible. I want that. And then Kunai is good, I think. Three attacks, gain one dexterity. No, it's not for me, because I don't... My dexterity is a write-off. I'm never going to have good dexterity. Um, that's a you know, that's a really good card, but only if you're doing shivs. That if that was like twenty-one damage to all enemies, maybe, but it's not. Secret weapon: choose an attack from your draw and place in your hand. So that's useful. Basically, you know, I'm often hoping glass dagger comes up, and um, this way I could make it come up. I think I'm going to. Pay to remove. Might remove Alchemize. A lot of these things have proved their usefulness now. I'm not sure I need my second copy of Tools of the Trade. Might be kind of excessive. Doppelganger. It's, it's been pretty good. And Venom's probably the thing I've cast least often. But it is a good thing. But then if I've got these... These, um... Crippling Clouds, maybe I don't need Venom. Definitely keeping bullet time. Corpse Explosion is good. Definitely keeping Adrenaline. Actually, Phantasmal Killers... I don't know, it's, it is good. Tools of the Trade, after you cast it, is giving you just better hands overall. It's just when I've got two copies of it, I have to discard two cards. It's kind of tedious to do that. <laughs> I actually find it kind of annoying. Oh, backflip. I want to get rid of backflip, of course. Duh. I forgot. Alright, none of these others. Mind Blast would be good if I was going for a big deck, but actually I'm going for a smaller deck, and I'm going to have a huge starting hand, so that leaves my draw pile even smaller. 
It's weird for me to keep this much money. I usually blow all my money in shops because I'm usually finding so little that I like that shops are where I get everything useful. All right, this is gonna be a big starting hand. <laughs> I still don't have bullet time, but I oh know I can't. So I can play that, and I'll get two cards. Oh, because I got a free neutral one as well. Um, okay, I, I'm just gonna play that because it's free. And now, if I play Adrenaline, I'll go down to 8 cards, and then the hand limit is 10. So when it draws 2, I will get the full hand limit. Yeah, that's good. I really want bullet time. I didn't get it. Fuck. So there are only 12 cards that aren't in my hand. Alright, but I did get Wraith Form, and it seems such a shame to play Wraith Form and nothing else. Oh no, I could play 2 After Images in Wraith Form. Is it crazy to have 2 After Images when actually I'm intangible most of the time? I think I should get rid of Alchemize. I think it's not that great. I think I'm going to... Oh, I should play my Artifact Potion because I'm about to get hit by a nasty effect. Yeah, I'm going to do these two and wait for them. Protection is the most important thing right now. Then I'm going to do Artifact and I think I'm actually just going to play this Power thing as well. What's that? Alright, just thorns. Oh no! What? Oh, my own wraith form took out the, um... The artifact. Artifact was supposed to protect me from the nasty thing he was going to do to me, but because wraith form has a negative effect, that hit first. Oh, that sucks. Alright, bullet timer is not that useful this time, because I've... It's it costs one less than everything else. Yeah, I suppose if I do bullet time, then I do burst. He's gonna hate this because he gives me a daze for every skill I play. Then I get doppelganger twice, so I do get the benefit twice. I should have done thousand cuts first, of course. Everything I play that isn't an attack, he he uh, punishes me for, which is insane. That's why I wanted to block that. Okay. Quite a lot of those. Uh, we are going to... I think we're going to try to kill him first. Usually I kill the other guy first because his escalating damage is bad, but actually, since I've got... Um... Ooh, you know what? Before I play this, I might as well triple it. Yeah, because he's going to be vulnerable. Um... That's good. Next turn, that's going to be... Oh, and it, like, no matter how dazed I am, I'll still get those three cards. Those three glass knives. And that should be enough to finish him off. This is going to work. I need my other wraith form, and I got it, but I actually don't have enough uh, to cast it this time. Ooh, this is going to get risky. Well, let's see. No, that's for sure not going to kill him. So, right now I've got to decide, do I want Wraith form again to get intangible next turn, or these are 18 each. This will kill him. I think I've got to kill him. It's gonna be rough though, because that that crow guy is real tough now, real powerful now. I guess if I don't do this, the glass knife will still come up, right? And he's not his vulnerable is not gonna wear off. Maybe I'm gonna do wraith form. Gets me dazed again. Yeah, counterintuitive, but I think that's the right move. Because I've got other things that do damage. But I can't survive... Oh, i got a bunch of glass knives. Great. That makes it easy. You know what? It's actually better for me to cast Crippling Cloud, because that will kill him too, and it will also affect the crow. Didn't I have two energy then? I don't know why I've why I'm able to cast both. I might just be misreading things. All right, that was I played that perfectly. That worked out just right. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass to pick two things. <laughs> okay, I'm actually short on potions now, which is unusual. Draw two cards and discard two cards. Kind of good. 
Every time I do that, though, that when I've got to discard the two, I'm suddenly like, oh, I don't want to. <laughs> nope, none of those. Wow, I'm on full health. Look at that starting hand, that's so cool. <laughs> Shuffle your discard pile into a draw pile and draw one card. Well, I suppose this is just, like, drawing one card right now. Um, which I might as well do, because... Do I have bullet time? No, right? Don't have bullet time. Um, so I'm probably going to cast after image and then cast adrenaline. Because it doesn't stop me from casting a three energy power. And after I cast adrenaline, I have eight cards. It's going to draw two, so I'll be back at max without wasting any. I did not get bullet time. That's a shame. So probably do another after image and a waveform or maybe maybe tools of the trade and waveform yeah could actually give myself I gave myself the energy from the potion. I could also poison everyone. I think that's best, actually. Hmm. I've got six energy now. That's interesting. I don't have burst, do I? No. So now I can still do all the trade, or I could do glass knife. Which is pretty tempting. 24 damage to the to the main dude. Oh, what does Dido Dido do? That's 13 to everyone. I should do that. Yeah. That's good. His minions dead in turn two. And now I can actually do double Quip and Cloud. And I should. Instead of Wraith Form. It's pretty bold, but I think I'm going to do it. Because the reform's not going to run out soon. Yeah, that's such a lot of poison. Can't do Corpse Explosion right now. If I'd save the energy potion, I could have, but... So be it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, well... This isn't that bad. I can do Terra... And Nightmare. If I do Nightmare on Unload, that's useful, isn't it? Or I could do Terror and Phantasmal Killer and Doppelganger. Might be better, actually. Gonna do Terror anyway. So if I do Nightmare on this, I get guaranteed 36 damage next turn. Pretty great. Phantasmal Killer doubles all my damage next turn. Oh, I'm definitely going to get bullet time next turn. Which means... What does that mean? What does that tell me I should do? I'm going to get bullet time. There's no point saving energy, so Doppelganger's not worth playing. Having that 36 damage means I get to cast that 36 damage and whatever else gets drawn, so I think that's the best thing. On the other hand, I'm probably going to play a lot of cards... Including probably some glass knives. And some corpse explosion. Corpse explosion's an attack, isn't it? So Phantasmal Killer's better. Alright. And then I think I can just kill that guy. Oh, don't I have a thousand cuts? I guess I don't have a thousand cuts. Oh well, I should have attacked the main guy then. Oh, I'm out of intangible. I need intangible. Please give me Wraith Form. Ah, you didn't. Son of a bitch. Oh, it's not a big hand. I wish it was a big hand. Ah, jeez. Okay, no, it's only 11 damage right now. This guy is charging up. I thought he was going to do it this turn, but he's not. Okay, what is a skill? Only Alchemize, really. So I'm going to do After Image first, I guess. Then Bullet Time. Then I'll Burst. Alchemize. And I 
I think I just kill this guy because I don't have intangible, so I can't be sure he's not going to kill me. Ah, oh, it's a shame not to use this on this guy. 24 damage twice, that's 48. What are my chances of getting intangible next turn? Not that great. Less than 50 50. If I get Corpse Explosion next turn, that's also a. We'll end it. But that's it, I think, nothing else. Uh, if I get any glass knife. I've got two glass knives. Yeah, there are three cards that would all save me next turn. What are the chances of not getting any of those three cards next turn? Certainly not zero. Well, most of those cards, if I get them, will also be good to kill the main guy. So I might as well just kill this guy. Oh, and I've got enough block to protect myself from this guy's attack. Jesus! Okay, I did get that. I got Wraithful. We're all good. And Glass Knife for good measure. And I'm not going to take damage. Alright, this is going pretty smooth. <laughs> for all my stress, I've actually taken only one damage so far, and Corpse Explosion is going to finish it. <laughs> Sundial. Every three times you shuffle your deck, gain two. Three times? That's quite a lot. Don't see that coming out. Oh my god, I can get another Wraith Form. Oh jeez, that's real good. I think i got to do it. Because Wraith Form really scales. Like, it's good against everything. Now, I did think... I was actually thinking about upgrading a Wraith Form. But now maybe I don't need to. What does that do? Oh my god. You can make that... Oh no, wait, sorry. I'm missing it. It's zero. For some reason, my first read on that was it took away the exhaust property, which it clearly doesn't. Um, okay. You know, it was kind of a mistake to make that after image innate, because I don't want it in my starting hand anymore. I just want Wraith Form as fast as possible. I don't think upgrading bullet time makes sense. I would love to get another bullet time. That would make life real easy. What was the nightmare upgrade? Is it just cost? Yeah. Um... Did I already upgrade all my poison clouds? Yeah. So, upgrading Wraith Form. I've got two of them I can upgrade. It does make a certain amount of sense because bosses are the only thing I'm scared of now. I've got three Wraith Forms, so that's very likely they're going to come up in my huge starting hand. Um, upgrading Adrenaline is pretty good because you get. Oh no, it doesn't draw more cards, it only gets you more energy. I do want to remove that Alchemize, I think. I don't even really think Unload is very good. I think I'm going to upgrade a Wraith Form. Can't really see anything else. What is Tools of the Trade? Is it just innate? No, it's zero cost. Yeah, that's kind of good, actually. Or I could upgrade a Glass Knife, of course. That's significant, actually. That's 50% better. And they, those do account for a lot of my damage. I don't really want 1,000 cuts anymore. I think I'd get rid of that if I was removing stuff. In total, I have 10 intangible. So upgrading that for to get 11 is kind of... I think a, this actually leads to the fight ending sooner. Particularly since Glass Knife decays. And so starting higher, you know, I can use this twice. And it will still be just as effective as it as it used to be. And using all my glass knives twice, particularly if I nightmare them, it's going to be um, it's going to get a lot done. Okay, certainly playing that. Oh, I got bullet time. I'm so happy. So it's worth playing zero cost stuff and possibly after image actually, because that's going to get me some block while I play all these. And then I'm going to play adrenaline, obviously, but I want to get my hand down to eight before I do it, so that I don't waste any cards when it fills. Nothing else that triggers on draw. Both Wraith Forms and Bullet Time. Oh, this is awesome. 
Sorry, I said both wraith forms. I actually have three wraith forms. <laughs> Two of my three wraith forms. Okay, did I imagine... Okay, I didn't get the burst thing, but I've got both crippling clouds. I could just play them both, since they're both free. I'm certainly going to play this. I'm certainly going to play this. I'm certainly going to play that. And then... Yeah, I think I just play them both. 14 poison, not to be sniffed at. Waiting for them to come up in the same turn as Burst and having the energy to play them both is, I think, foolish. Um, certainly go like that. Yep, just everything, really. Just everything. <laughs> no thought required. Okay, what don't I want here? I can actually afford to not play the Wraith form. And I'm definitely going to play Terra. That's going to do me a lot of good. I'm... Jesus. 26. Oh, because of the doubling. I forgot about the doubling. So I definitely play that. I think I might actually want to play in Venom. Oh my god, he's nearly dead. So maybe actually I want to do Tools of the Trade. Oh no, I want to do Doppelganger. Because then I'll have more cards and more damage next turn. And that just increases my chance of getting glass knives. The one damage from Venom is not going to make a difference. If this fight was going to go longer, Tools of the Trade might pay off more than playing Doppelganger. But next turn is actually going to be critical, because I might be able to end it. I did indeed get a glass knife. I also got Nightmare. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. So I don't have any way of making it not cost three. I've got six energy, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, that is not going to be a deal breaker right now. Oh, I've got Corpse Explosion. That's going to help. Uh, since I have a load of spare energy, maybe I should think about Alchemize? No, because I've got full load of potions, and they're all good ones. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be this. The only question is whether I play Nightmare first, in case this doesn't end it. What is this going to do? 18 damage twice. No, this is going to end it. And just in case it didn't, Corpse Explosion. Ooh, oh no. Snacker's Gold. That's decent. I thought that was the, um, there's another Sneko one where it uh, makes poison transfer from dead people to living people. 17 to all, that's pretty good. I don't think I want more cards, though. Having two corpse explosions is not that useful because playing your first one um, burns all the poison. Alright, <laughs> there we go, we got the bullet time. Uh, I'll do Panache again. I probably should have done after image first, actually. Just looking for things that draw cards. Don't see any. Now, bullet time. Bullet time's the, the real hero of this deck. Wraithform, please. It's a shame that Wraithform fucks up that artifact trick, where you protect yourself from the nasty effect of that guy in the robe. Uh, crippling Cloud, Tantamal Killer. I wish you could. I wish Alchemizer would let you kind of draw a potion, look at it, and then decide whether you want to add it to your, whether you want to play something or not. But it doesn't. Um, this doesn't do anything, but it'll get me some block, I guess. And then shall I use one of these potions and replace it? I don't think a fairy in a bottle is actually going to be that useful because everything's going so well. I get dexterity. That's the worst thing I could have got. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll discard that. Next time I'm offered a potion. Okay. Can I probably just cast Wraith Form, aren't I? Yeah, a thousand cuts and Envenom that just aren't. They aren't what's making this deck work. Oh, I can cast another, another one thing, so I'll cast that. Yeah, this doesn't seem like it's going to be too hard. Usually this guy's pretty nasty. Ooh, I like all these cards. Uh, except in Venom. So I'm going to Adrenaline for sure. Got a Corpse Explosion, actually. But I think Terror and then two Glass Knives is going to be devastating. Yeah, it's going to end the fight. 
Man, this is a rare... I mean, obviously Wraithform and, and Bullet Timer is what's saving me, but the thing that's different about this deck to most silent decks that I end up playing is it's... I'm just doing attacks. Like, not Shiv... Shivs, which are kind of a special kind of attack. They are attack cards, but... Um, Usually shivs are the only time I'm doing an attack-based deck. Everything else is just poison um, or some obtuse thing. Uh, whereas this one just has a bunch of really good attack cards. Okay, what did I say I wanted to read? Can be wraith form. That doesn't seem to be what's causing me issues. I really want to remove cards, to be honest. It's mostly removal now. Making terror free is, is decent. Um, making tools of the trade free is decent. Doubling two skills is interesting. That's going to... That definitely increases my ceiling for how good a turn can be when I have loads and loads of cards. If I have both poison ones and burst, I could make them all happen. Um, I think it was the right move last time to increase the damage of that thing. So that's 33% better, not 50% better. Unloads a weird one. It's, just, like, it's not that great. 12 damage is decent, but there are other... I mean, its downside is minimal because you can just play everything else you want to play and then play it. Um... But yeah, there are other cards that just do 12 damage and don't have a downside. I don't know, it goes to 17. That's a similar percentage increase, but it's to all enemies, so that's in absolute terms, it's better. Oh, I only get to cast that once per battle, of course. What does that do? Oh, X plus 1. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay, I think it's going to be one of the damage ones, or burst, or doppelganger. It's probably going to be burst or doppelganger. Neither of the damage ones uh, feel like they're integral. I usually end up playing glass knight dagger instead. I think it's going to be doppelganger. Because you draw more cards that way. And so, even if I have zero energy left... Oh yeah, this is... I should absolutely do this. Because if I have zero energy, I still get to add one card and one energy next turn. That's awesome. If there's a card that just said that, you know, zero energy and gives you one one extra drop card and one extra energy next turn, you would be all over it, right? Start of each turn, add a random colorless card to your hand. That... Oh, do I have bullet time? I don't have bullet time. That's unfortunate. I don't have... Any way of drawing cards either, I don't think. Huh. Well, I won't play Magnetism this turn because it's, I was debating whether it was worth playing at all, and it's certainly not worth playing at the expense of Wraith Form. I think I just play one Wraith Form and probably an After Image or maybe a Glass Knife. You know what? I'll play After Image because Glass Knife's going to be more effective once I use Terror on this guy. Oh, and I can still use Doppelganger. Awesome. Oh, that's so neat. That was definitely the right choice. Oh, look, you're only doing one damage. What's the matter? <laughs> um, any skills? Only alchemize. Oh, I, should, but I do want to get rid of that stupid potion. Okay, so probably Wraith Form again, and then I've got two left over. So I could do After Image and Tools of the Trade. Yeah, that's good. Oh, in fact, I might as well do after image first. Then wraith form. Then tools of the trade. <laughs> I haven't really thought about this, but I guess once I have classed all my wraith forms, I'm losing three dexterity per turn. <laughs> Probably the least dexterous rogue ever to live. Okay, adrenaline and bullet time. I'm getting excited. Nightmare. I don't have anything I would copy with nightmare just yet, except die, die, die. But I've got to discard one of these. I've got to keep Crippling Cloud, haven't I? I really want to know what Adrenaline's going to draw before I do this. Die, die, die. I do want to keep it. Oh, and I think I do want to Nightmare that, because the... Well, it's only 13 damage. It's not that big a deal, but... The, it's nice that you get around the exhaust thing if you duplicate it. I mean, they still all exhaust, but you have three of them. Shit, I really don't know what to discard here. If I discarded Die, 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 what would I use Nightmare on? I could try the Crippling Cloud thing. Even though it's it will probably clone it at 2 energy, even though Bullet Time will have it at 0 energy. 
just because um, it's kind of worth it anyway, right? It makes him weak. Stack, poison stacks really effectively. Would I rather have three Crippling Clouds or three Die Die Dies? I guess the Crippling Clouds. Even though they cost more. Alright, this feels weird to do. I might get... Oh, I got a Glass Knife, so that, that's what I'll do. Oh, and I get Venom too, that's nice. That's a nice one for free. If Venom cost one, I'd be a lot more positive about it. It just doesn't quite feel worth the two. Okay, so... Copy the Glass Knife, right? See... <laughs> If if it really did copy the Crippling Cloud at zero cost... Oh no, we know it doesn't, because I've used it on the last knife at zero cost before, and when you get the copies of Glass Knife, they do cost one. I'm sure of that. So I don't want to copy Crippling Cloud, I do want to copy Glass Knife. Certainly going to cast Crippling Cloud, and Terra, and 36 damage for each Glass Knife. Oh, and that's... I've got Envenom, and Envenom is actually adding two poison per turn now. I had two energy just left over there. Alright. Jesus, that's a big hand. Um, not going to do Corpse Explosion, because I, I want to keep that poison going. I've actually got four glass knives, and I've got four energy, and I don't have to defend myself. Hey, why is the three on that intangible so weird? Oh, that's not... That's my the number of the card, not the number of the status. Oh, I could do... Maybe I should do two glass knives and one crippling cloud. He's going to be vulnerable forever, so I don't need to take the advantage of that, necessarily. Whereas stacking poison early is, is really important. Makes the poison I'm getting from these stats more effective as well. Yeah, that's real good. And those glass knives will still be useful later. Still got quite a small deck. Well, 24 is not that small, I suppose. But it, the fact that it's all good really does <laughs> come through. Uh, do I have any skills? Oh, yeah! Hmm. No, I'm going to cast Wraith Form, aren't I? So that I won't use that. Definitely won't use that. So yes, you can be Wraith Form and Tools of the Trade. Six intangible. That's really good. That's going to last me, I think. Because even when... This guy's going to go angry at some point, and he's going to get more powerful. He might even heal, I can't remember. Um, but I don't care, because he's still going to be poisoned, I'm pretty sure. I've got to discard two of them? Damn it. I really want to do Burst and Phantasmal Killer together. I think I'll just get rid of Unload. Oh, why was that Sundial? Oh, that just gave me a shitload of more energy. No, oh, I don't need it. <laughs> um, yes. Burst. Phantasmal Killer. And now I'm really curious. Um, double damage for the next two turns, yeah. So it's not four times damage. It's double for two turns. Yeah, this is going well. Still five intangibles left. Pretty confident I can close it out before that ends. I was very lucky to get all four intangibles. I think it's just because of the extra... Oh, jeez! This is my double damage turn, and I've got three glass knives. Hey, if those are both upgraded glass knives, why do they do... Oh, because one of them's been used before. So that, that one's less powerful. I think we'll get rid of that, right? Oh, two cards to discard. I'll get rid of that as well. I'm just going to cast the damage ones. I don't care about anything else. This might kill him. Yeah, this is going to kill him. Fucking hell. <laughs> this is a really good deck. Don't want to speak too soon, but this could go all the way. Do I want another burst? I'm actually so short on skills that I actually use it. Phantasma Killer, that was cool to burst. Oh, um, Crippling Cloud's the one I really like bursting. Love to burst that cloud. Is it worth having a whole extra burst just for that? It's one of my least often used skills, so I think it'd be crazy to take another copy of it. Okay. That's obviously good. Choose now to five cards of dagger. I don't want to do that. Ah. More energy. And I can no longer rest at rest sites. It's got to be said, I'm not really resting, am I? I don't think I have rested at all this game. 
you can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but it's certainly not coming up anymore now that I've got those intangibles. And having more... Having more energy... It's always great if Doppelganger is in my hand, no matter what else is in my hand. If Doppelganger is not in my hand, but Bullet Time is, it's useless. Um, if... I think there are other times when... I don't know, you draw five cards. I can't play all five cards, usually. I think this is worth it. It's kind of crazy. Because, yeah, if you don't have bullet time in your opening hand, there is so much you want to play. And a lot of it is disproportionately good at the start of the fight. Act three. Okay, this is where <laughs> it all falls apart, usually. <laughs> Uh, Dark Shackles. It uses 9 strength for the rest of the turn. Exhaust. Uh, did I get Bullet Time? No. And I got 5 energy. I did get Doppelganger. I didn't get Adrenaline. Uh, I got Burst. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. I, I can make someone lose 18 strength with Burst and Dark Shackles. Uh, yeah, so I get to cast one of my Wraith Forms, and then I still get a bunch of energy left over. Don't really know what to do with it, to be honest. I'll tell you what, there isn't a lot of damage in this in this opening hand, which means there probably will be next turn, and next turn I'll probably have bullet time. So I might want to do Wraith Form and Phantasmal Killer, so that all that damage is doubled. I think I'll do that. Or I could do Doppelganger and just have shitloads next turn. Nah, I'm going to do Phantasmal Killer. If I had another 3 energy, I'd probably do Burst and Phantasmal Killer. Oh wait, I've actually got an energy potion. Should I do that? If I do that, I'll actually have one left over, so I'd have an after image left. I think I'm going to do that. So now I do after image... I could have done two Wraith Forms, of course, but um, this is more interesting. I don't think... I think the other Wraith Form is going to come up in time. There's no point in reducing anyone's strength. The other Wraith Form came up right away. But this is my double damage turn. So if possible... Oh, oh, ooh! Interesting. I didn't get bullet time. Um, okay, so Glass Knife is going to do 48 damage. It's pretty fucking good. That obviously is good to cast. I've only got two turns of intangible left, so next turn is my last turn of intangible. And Wraith Form won't come up next turn, so I should cast that already, shouldn't I? The only other thing I thought was if I did Nightmare on Glass Knife right now, that gets me three copies of Glass Knife next turn, next turn I will still have double damage. But I think instead I will do Wraith Form, because I just need it. I can't take chances with that. That's the only thing keeping me alive. I could poison everyone, or I could do glass knife and tools of the trade. Seems a shame not to um, uh, No, it would be crazy not to do glass knife on a double damage turn. And I'm just going to concentrate on the main guy. He will keep summoning more things, but they die if they're in a quad, I think. That skull icon, does that mean that... Oh, I've got to choose something. Okay, bullet time, that's great. And double damage for that. I really want some more fucking attack cards. Yeah, that's a real shame. <laughs> this double damage thing did not pay off, really. I only had two attack cards in total. I really thought I'd get the other glass dagger this turn. Okay, well, I actually might as well cast this first, right? Get one more block for doing that in that order. Oh, this is to all enemies. This will kill all his minions. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> and he's nearly dead too. Alright, this is going just fine. Haven't lost a single hit point, and I don't believe I will. Yeah, that just killed him. <laughs> Man, that fight is usually harder. No, draw cards until you have eight in your hand. That's kind of cool. So that that's for a high energy loadout where you, you're short on cards. 
that actually I do have loads of energy, but actually I'm still kind of at the point where I can't afford to play everything in my hand, so I don't think that's worth it. That chest looked different. Three attacks gain one strength, that's good. Not a huge deal because most of my stuff is high damage. Although glass knife hits twice and uh, you get the strength both times. Okay. No bullet time, right? No bullet time. Oh, no wraith form either. Shit. Okay. Um, I kind of want to clear things out because I'm going to cast adrenaline, but I want to get rid of something first. After image is one option. Maybe it should just be terror. Does that make sense? The secret weapon's free, but um, playing it just gets me another card, so it's not really what I want. There isn't an attack I especially want right now, is there? No. Got lots of good attacks, but they're not especially useful right now. I really want to remove cards from my deck, but I have no choice about what to do. Crypt and Cloud's actually a big deal right now. So usually I just cast after image kind of unthinkingly. But saving those getting like three or four block per turn is not that big a deal really. I think I'd be better off casting I cast Crypt and Cloud and then Adrenaline Oh yeah, I'll get the energy back basically. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. This is a you've got to kill all these three guys at the same time. Um or within one turn of each other to win this fight. And so, poisoning them all equally is kind of perfect. It's just what you want. Please give me bullet time. You did. You beauty. You beauty. Okay, is there anything else that cannot draw any more cards this turn? So does that... That says place it in your hand. I don't know if that counts as drawing or not. Oh, it's free, so I might as well do it. Oh yeah, I should definitely do it, because it's gonna, whatever I choose is going to be free. And actually, I might do die, 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 not glass knife, because it's better to hit everyone. And I can triple it. Oh my god, this is great. I love bullet time so much. Is there any reason to cast something before bullet time? There isn't, is there? Oh, after image. Yeah, I'll do that. I still don't have any intangible. Fuck. <laughs> I kind of need that, actually. Uh, whoops. I think I'm just going to take, like, 17 damage right now. We'll see. Uh, what I'll do is I'll... Apply vulnerable to the ones who are attacking me. Um, God, you know what? Maybe I want. I think I want three copies of Die Die Die. I think that's what's gonna really end this fight. Not glass knife. Um, might as well do in venom. Do that now. Let's see what alchemist gets me. An exploding potion would be awesome right now. Okay, I do that. I think I can probably kill this guy. But not the other one. It did kill him. And actually, if I use the fire potion, I can kill this guy as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's only doing 8 damage and had 9 block. There was no point in doing that. <laughs> but, um, I think this is over, isn't it? 14, 3 times. That ought to do it. Yeah, this deck is real good. Ah, speed potion, the worst potion. Don't want any of those, really. I mean, outmaneuver is decent, but. Just reduces the chance of getting... Yeah, I just want my deck to be smaller. That's my number one priority right now. There's a bunch of things in there I don't really care about. Okay, lots of Wraith Forms, but no bullet time. Anything that draws cards? No. Not this turn, anyway. No one's attacking me, which is nice. So I don't really need the Wraith Forms, technically, but I probably should cast one of them. And I have two energy spare. Might be worth using that to kill or do some serious damage to um, one of these guys who confuse you. 
I can do 24 plus 5, which is 29. Doesn't quite kill him. Let's get rid of that potion right now. Uh, I'll do a wraith form first. Oh, I can just do two glass knives, right? That would certainly kill him. Feels kind of wasteful. It's, it's big overkill. It's 48 damage for a 33 health enemy. Yeah, I think it's going to be worth it, though. Can't do it with a swift strike. Oh, I got strength for that. That's cool. Okay. Don't 100% know if that's the right thing. But yeah, getting two dazed cards. I didn't want to get four dazed cards just then. <laughs> There's really no point in doing bullet time right now, is there? I think I just won't. Oh, this is interesting. No, it's not really. <laughs> I'm going to terror him. I could terror that guy, but it, he's got artifact, so it's, it's just going to resist it. And then that will do a lot more. And then poison will finish him off. So that's pretty good. So yeah, that guy's got artifact. He actually lost two artifacts there, so we're doing all fine. I'll do Wraith Form again, because I'm about to run out of it. And then I could do Envenom. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll do Envenom, because he's got 51 block, but only 20 health. And every attack I do will be poisoning him, so that will wear through his artifact pretty fast. And I still get to cast Doppelganger for one extra energy next turn. Six out of five is a good, <laughs> good thing. Uh, definitely do Adrenaline first. Got two after images, that's not that useful. I can... Oh, I can double Crippling Cloud him. And I've got so much fucking energy, I think it makes sense to... Um, uh, I want to do some kind of debuff to him. Do I have Envenom? Yeah, I did get Envenom. So that'll do it. Oh, but that'll discard all my attack cards. That'll be done. Uh, how can I... What I'm trying to do is get rid of his... Um get rid of his artifact before I do the double crippling cloud because then it gets really good I can't see a way to do that because playing this first will have a bad effect so I think I just do this first at least gets the seven poison in there and I can add to the poison with this damage um, I think I'll do I'm going to cast that, and I'm going to cast that, and I'm going to cast that. Yeah, he's going to die pretty fast. Oh, a corpse explosion. Perfect. Oh, that was a mistake. He has a lot of block. <laughs> he has a lot of block, and the poison was the only thing that's going to kill him. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Alright, it doesn't matter too much, because I've still got enough energy for bullet, for bullet time, and I can do that, I can do that. I'll just do everything. And that dexterity potion is fucking useless. Wow, I really fucked that up. <laughs> that was not a hard turn to, to figure out, but I still screwed it up. Do I want Nightmare? Pretty sure I don't want Tools of the Trade at this point. Oh, I've got seven energy. Jesus Christ, I do want Nightmare then. If I do Nightmare on a glass knife, that sounds like a movie title or something. <laughs> um, then I can also do Phantasmal Killer and I still get to cast all of these, which will probably just kill him straight up anyway. Yeah, it will. Catalyst. Interesting. That's an interesting card. Triple an enemy's poison. I was trying to make my deck smaller, but someone having triple poison is really good. You know, in a way, like, that's just a really good card. Both of these are only going to be good if they're already poisoned. I don't poison people that consistently. It's kind of a late game thing. I don't know if I actually want to do this. I don't think I'm going to. 
just makes my wraith forms harder to get to. Ooh, draw two cards. Uh, I don't currently have bullet time, so I do want to do that. But I need to get rid of a card first to get the full benefit. I think I'll do Terra because I'm almost certain to cast that. Oh, and I've got to place one on top of my draw pile. Uh, Christ, I still didn't get bullet time. This is why I need a smaller deck. So partly I should do one I don't want. Oh, you know what? I should do Wraith Form. Because I don't need it this turn. And I basically save one intangible by having it next turn instead. So that's actually good. Um, and then I can just spend this turn getting powers and stuff. I can do Burst and Crippling Cloud, actually. Let's do that. And when I'm out of energy, I'll probably do Doppelganger. Uh, so After Image or Glass Knife? I think I'm going to do Glass Knife, because After Image, it just protects me from, like, just that little attrition damage. And I don't think I'm going to go through that many scrapes. Is he vulnerable? He is vulnerable, yeah. 36, it's pretty good. I'm going to do that. He is really tough, though. But he's also... I think he's a strength builder. I think he gets stronger and stronger. So there's there's an argument for finishing the fight as soon as possible. Okay, still no bullet time. Would have been real good this turn. I can actually draw cards. Let's do that. Oh, shit. You know what? I had enough energy to cast both of these anyway. <laughs> I didn't need bullet time. Oh, well. Um, No drawback to casting it right now, is there? I might as well do after image first. So I got the after image for free, so that was actually pretty good. Alright. Uh, sure, I'll have in Venom. I'll have both three forms. I will... Crippling Cloud you. Tools of the Trade, Tools of the Killer. Just fucking everything, please. And I also got some strength out of that, I think. Did I? If I didn't, why didn't I? Did he already reduce my strength, maybe? Because I should be getting strength for every three. It's real hard to move the curse with a gamepad. That says... Yeah. Didn't I play three attacks? Maybe I didn't. Maybe a lot of things I cast were skills. He's got a lot of poison. Corpse explosion is going to be good this game. Okay. Adrenaline's good. Uh, I'll probably lose tools of the trade. Or oh, alchemize. No, I'm going to have a lot of energy, so... Alchemize actually might be worthwhile. Nightmare. I don't really know that... I have anything I want a Nightmare. Die, die, die is just straight up better than Unload. I'm probably going to... Wraith form, and then could alchemize actually. I'm gonna do that. I think I'm probably gonna die, die, die. Mm, am I worried about this fight? I've got nine intangibles, so no, I'm not worried about this fight. So I should do alchemize. Is it the time for Corpse Explosion? It would do 50 damage to him, so no, I don't think it is. Uh, it is the time for Bullet Time. Oh, I could have burst Corpse Explosion. But I think the first instance of it would use up all the poison, so there wouldn't be anything left to do. Uh, so I have no skills to use Burst on. Oops. I'll still play it, because it gets me some block. Fucking hell, that was devastating. <laughs> that was an absolute drumming. Drubbing. Yeah, I think a glass knife is going to do it. Oh, no, let's use Corpse Explosion. For old time's sake. 
<laughs> yeah, I was correct not to be worried about that fight. Yeah, those are all good, but none of them actually are worth it, I don't think. I can't heal anymore. Ah! <laughs> it's fine, but it's terrifying. Alright. What do I want? I don't want that to be an 8 after image. I don't want that to be my starting hand. I might just upgrade die, die, die. Oh, I can make Alchemize free. Pretty sure. Yeah. That's kind of good, because then I'll just do it every game. Always be potioning. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Hmm. Gain four block. Okay. And no bullet time, right? Nope. Still no bullet time. Shit. Uh, I got a wraith form, though, so that's fine. This guy's also intangible. That's his thing. I got six energy, so I'm fine. I could even... oh shit, I could... Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Tell me again what intangible does. Reduce all damage taken and HP loss to one. Huh. Even HP loss, wow. Okay. So when I poison this guy, he's not going to take the poison damage when he's intangible? Or he's only going to take one of it? Probably still worth doing. Well, I'm definitely going to Wraith Form. Very much want to Terror him, I think. Because I could Nightmare, and then I could get lots of copies of Glass Knife. Glass Knife next turn is going to be no good, because he's going to go Intangible next turn. So, let's not do that. <laughs> I'll be able to Poison him fine next turn, but it might not do any damage. So I'm leaning towards... I could just do one Terror and one Crippling Cloud right now. Or I do one Terror and one Glass Knife. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? After Image, Glass Knife. Maybe towards the trade in Glass Knife, actually. going to, with the little one damages I'm taking here and there, it's going to take them so long to whittle me down that I'm not too worried about it. Okay. None of my damage cards are worth taking here. So, I would be inclined to say maybe Envenom, Phantasmal Killer, and After Image, and then Doppelganger as well. Actually, I'm going to do... I will do Envenom. This is a rare case where it's worth it. I will do Phantasmal Killer, because he's intangible this turn. Next turn is my chance to do some damage. And then I'll do Doppelganger now, I think, just to gain that extra edge next turn. Get two extra cards, two extra energy. That's really good. Doppelganger's... I'm really impressed by how much that's helping this game. Oh, and I've got two Wraith Forms. Please give me bullet time. You did give me bullet time. I love you. Okay, do I have any skills? Only Alchemize. And I don't want two potions, so I think I'll get rid of Burst. Oh, this is great. I mean, it's actually not the best, because I've got very little damage. I've only got Glass Knife. But, um... Bullet Time and two Wraith Forms, you don't argue with that. I've got nine fucking energy! Ah, oh, jeez. I want more cards. Maybe I'll do this, because I'm going to get a new potion anyway. Yeah, I can't see any way to use that extra energy. <laughs> it's just not useful to me. Um, so, yeah, I'll take all of them. These, and then it's going to do 51 damage twice. <laughs> That's going to damn nearly kill him. <laughs> uh, let me do after image first. Fuck me, that's powerful. 
That lets me draw cards. I should do that. I should draw those cards. Because I can't hurt him next turn. Oh shit, I can't draw cards. <laughs> Fuck, that was a waste of a potion. Uh, bullet time prevents you from drawing any more cards that turn. Oh, I forgot. I've still got seven. Uh, intangible, and I can discard those burns. Ooh, zero block. Great. Alright, well he's intangible, but he's also not doing anything, so that's nice. I think I should Nightmare Glass Knife, shouldn't I, so I can use it next turn. And I should cast Phantasmal Killer. Perfect. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Yep, he's dead next turn. I'm going to have three copies of that knife, and it's going to all I'm going to do double damage. Oh god, that's a good hand. <laughs> yeah, he needed one. <laughs> What's that? When you discard a card during a turn, deal three damage to a random enemy for each card discarded. Hmm. Oh my god. Another nightmare. Another adrenaline. I actually... Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Adrenaline's really good. The only downside of it is it exhausts, and that's not a downside, really. It's a limitation. Okay, I can upgrade stuff. I wish I could remove stuff. I just want to get rid of some of this shit. I've got so much energy now, it's ridiculous. So maybe upgrade die, die, die. Oh wait, what does upgrading in Venom do? Doesn't add more poison, just makes it cheaper. Uh, I was saying it would be worth it if it was one. Phantasmal Killer also just gets cheaper. To be honest, I'm casting Phantasmal Killer a lot more, that's a bigger benefit. And it's making it cheaper is good. Yeah, I think that's what I'm doing now. I'm just making everything cheaper. So that it's more commonly useful. Oh, maybe I should upgrade Corpse Explosion, actually. To be honest, every time Corpse Explosion has ended a fight, I could have ended the fight some other way as well. Wow, max HP. Oh, a shop's coming up. I get to remove something. And I got bullet time. And mind blast. Which I should just do now, right? Unless I've got... Have I got that terror thing where I... Make them vulnerable? I don't. I might get it when I use adrenaline, but I can't use adrenaline until I've got room in my hand. And I do now. And I got burst. I got all three wraith forms. And what can I use burst on? I could use burst on doppelganger. That would be kind of amazing. I think I'd probably do that. I could also use it on alchemize, but no particular benefit to that, is there? Okay. Cast bullet time first. After image next. Let's have all of your wraith forms. Casting three wraith forms in a turn is just obscene. <laughs> it's crazy I can do that. Um, I will do that. Yep. It's just a fire potion. That's fine. Explosion. It's going to have no effect, but it, I think it'll get me some block, which I don't actually need. But And yeah, Doppelganger's going to be cast twice with three, so I'm going to have six extra cards and six extra energy. Wait, does that say eight extra cards? Why is it eight? Oh, was um, Doppelganger's upgraded? I get plus one to it. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> this is an insane hand. Okay, um, yeah, I'm probably going to cast Adrenaline <laughs> at some point. Bullet Time isn't in there, so I'm definitely not going to get Bullet Time when I draw cards. Um, I don't know if that information is useful. I don't really need After Image. Why have I got two fucking copies of After Image? It's so excessive. <laughs> Having one block per card is more than enough. Um... What am I trying to do? I'm trying to see what card to play first so that I can then get rid of Adrenaline. I'm definitely going to play Terror, and it should be on the tougher one, I guess. And then I play Adrenaline. Jesus Christ, I've got 12 energy. You know what I need? I need something that does a certain amount of damage per energy. But I can do Nightmare for sure. And I'll do Phantasmal Killer, which means I'll get double benefit from the triple glass knives. Yeah, I do Adrenaline now. And... 
I guess. I got 13 energy, so it's almost not worth planning what I spent my energy on. <laughs> it's just so obscene. And I might as well do after image, I think. Um, I'm certainly going to... Is there an argument for doing die, die, die instead of this? 13 to everyone, or 12 to one of them. It is actually better to do 13 to everyone, because that's 26 total damage. And... Well, one of them's vulnerable and one of them isn't. That's the asymmetry here. I think I'm going to do that. It's kind of nutty, but... Um, crippling Cloud would be good. Definitely both Glass Knives and Dido Die, so let's do that first. I'm tempted to focus my damage on the one who isn't vulnerable, crazy as that sounds. Because the one who is vulnerable is going to be vulnerable forever. Let's do Dido Die and see how that shakes out. Hmm, the vulnerable one is now... But I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to do twice as much damage to him next turn. No, 50% more damage to him next turn as I am to this one. Uh, let's do this one, I remember. Fantasma Killer. I'll also do... Cloud. <laughs> and... Which one, which one? It's 24 damage. I kind of want to do it to that guy. Yeah, I will. And... Oh, look, I can actually cast every single card. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have bullet time. I could just have that much energy. A lot of burns, though, so that's 28 to all enemies. I only need to cast this once, because I got that double damage. And I get rid of both my burns. Man, that's good. This is such a good deck. Start your turn and lose 15 block while an oil block. That's useless to me. Oh my god, I can take another rage form. <laughs> I might as well, right? The only risk to my health is not getting a wraith form early enough, or wraith form running out. This addresses both those issues. Like, yes, it's a three energy card, and often I won't have the energy to cast it, but on that occasion, the only time it's not going to be worth spending three energy on is if I've already got loads of intangible, in which case I'm winning. So, I can't see a downside. And here I get to remove a thing. I literally don't care what else is on offer because removing... Oh wait, gambling chip? Discard any number of cards then draw that many. So if I don't get bullet time I just discard stuff until I do. That's really good. I am going to get that. I'm also going to remove a card because I can afford to do both. Okay, um... In Venom, maybe... Uh, tools of the Trade, having two of that is kind of pointless. Having two after image is kind of pointless. I mean, it's saving me from those little ones and two damages I, I would be taking. Thousand cuts, I really don't think, is doing anything good. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that, pretty sure. Oh, unload I'm not wild about, but... Um, I think thousand cuts is just useless. None of these tempt me. That... Oh! Oh shit, that's better than After Image. If I have that, I don't need After Image anymore. Huh. And I can afford both these things. No, I can't. I can only afford one. I don't need extra max HP. That's the one thing I don't need. I'm going to get that. That just saves me from playing After Image. Now I really want to remove cards, because if I get rid of those after images, it'd be so much tighter. And now I can just discard... Oh, I can get rid of those after images, because I don't need it. This is... I'm going towards a zero block deck. If I got rid of the after images, I have no cards to give me any block at all. And it works. Uh, Secret Technique is good. I'll keep that. Alchemize I don't need. Um, it's free, but I'll wait till I've used a potion, I guess. Uh, another after image. I also don't need that. Reform. I don't have bullet time, so I want bullet time. So I might just get rid of as much as I can. Bullet time is a skill, so I can just use this to get bullet time. Phantasmal Killer I definitely want. Glass Knife's good. Yeah. I got bullet time. And now I actually want to use one of these things so that I can... so that I have space to... Um, Everything. Yeah, I'll, I'll use Terra because I'm just absolutely going to do that. 
And then adrenaline. Got doppelganger, which is really good to get right now. And I've got burst. So I think that's all I want, right? I can use secret technique. Oh, I might as well use secret technique now, because whatever I get with it will be reduced to zero. And it's going to be Crippling Cloud? Yes. So maybe, actually, I want to do Burst on Crippling Cloud instead of Doppelganger? Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Time for bullet time. And now... I still get a big benefit from Doppelganger. That makes him weak for four turns as well, which is great. Actually, no, that has no effect. <laughs> I'm changing my, my position from it's great to it has no effect. <laughs> definitely that. Uh, definitely that. Ooh, let me copy that glass knife before I forget. I don't want to do corpse explosion. Doppelganger now. And... That's nice now. 37 damage twice, that's incredible. And that's not even with damage doubling. Why is that so good? Uh, oh, this guy's slow. That's the thing about him. Uh, so he takes more damage the more things I've played, and I've played a lot of cards. Uh, this is going to... Oh, it's not going to discard the course explosion. If it did, I get some benefit from discarding cards at the moment. It's, um, I think it does three random damage. Three glass knives... And I've got eight energy. I don't have... I want to just discard some of these cards. Like, I want to use Adrenaline to draw two. Right now it'll only draw one. I guess I just play the ones I want to play. <laughs> That's how you play the game. Play the cards you want to play. And then I will use Adrenaline. And that gets me... I've got three Wraith Forms. Aren't I already using a Wraith Form? Did I not cast a Wraith Form? Oh no, I've got four of them, haven't I? I just want to check. I have got Intangible, yeah. Okay. Fucking hell. What I really want is bullet time. So I suppose I should cast one of these and it should be the upgraded one. And then I'm mostly interested in Glass Knives because he's... I've got double damage and he's vulnerable, so it's got to be every Glass Knife I can. I should have done Envenom first. Eh. I'll do Crippling Cloud, because I want to... Oh my god, he's nearly dead. <laughs> this... Okay, that is, I think, the fastest I've ever... It will be the fastest I've ever taken this guy out. That is crazy fast. What? This is going to be three turns. It was nearly two turns. Should I Corpse Explosion? Yeah. I didn't kill him. Oh, 300 gold. Okay. Max HP, a thing I do not need. Uh, yeah, it's not even worth me taking it. It's not worth me using losing one of those potions, both of which are, all three of which are good. Another glass knife! Hmm. Is that good? I don't care about my deck being big anymore. No, wait, that's ridiculous, I do. Um, it's much less of a problem. No, because I'm still, I'm still searching for that one bullet time most of the time. And that makes that harder. Oh shit, I don't want to add any, any colorless cards to my fucking deck. Ugh. Well, if it's secret technique, it's not. Maybe if I debuffed an enemy, I take three damage. So every time I poison them, they take three damage. That's nice. Flash of Steel. Oh, you get to draw a card for playing that. So that's always good, right? Just free damage. Definitely don't want that, Jesus Christ. I think that's the good one. Because then it's not really taking up a slot. Because every time you get it, you can get another card for free. Not going to read that story stuff. Uh, these fucking after images are useless now. Uh, but I do get to... Oh, uh, actually, in a weird way, no. I was going to say, making them innate is kind of good, because my first hand is the one where I get to reject anything I don't want. But, of course, discarding them just makes them come up again later. I've got two adrenalines, that's amazing. Uh, maybe I don't want bandage just yet. It's free any time it comes up. 
Um, I really want bullet time, obviously. So I'll get rid of alchemize as well. Uh, might get rid of die, die, die. I've got burst, so I think I want to keep crippling cloud because that's a great synergy. Yeah, and I've got enough adrenaline that even if bullet time doesn't come up, I have so much energy. Oh, every time I discard, it hurts him. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, I need to... Yeah, this is the tricky thing, is I need to cast something now. I Before I do an adrenaline, I mean. So I think I'll do burst... No, I don't want it to affect adrenaline twice. So maybe I do burst and crippling cloud. Because I'm very sure I'm going to do that. And it does take me down to two energy, but the adrenaline is going to give me more energy. And I'm hoping I still get bullet time. Well, and now I really hope I get bullet time. I got bullet time. Now it would make sense. Ah, it's worth doing adrenaline. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got enough room for whatever it draws. Glass knife and unload. All right, perfect. And what the hell? I will do after image. Not first, though. Did I get nightmare? I didn't. Know. So, reform plus, reform regular, reform regular. Um, nightmare would be really good because I'm going to do phantasmal killer. And oh boy, that's a lot of damage. Now I've got Nightmare. And I don't need it as much. I don't think I want it, actually. Oh, I could copy Crippling Cloud. I think I just want to, like, hit him with terrible, terrible damage. <laughs> um, I could do Crippling Cloud and Corpse Explosion this turn. Which would get him up to... Uh, what, 22? And then do 44 damage to him? I think that's worth it, even though it loses the poison. Which means I won't cast the Wraith form. It looks like I have two tangible, but I'm pretty sure I have more than that. I think I cast three of them already. So, it would be cool to double this somehow, but I can't see a way. Oh yeah, she got 23. Oh. Killed him. <laughs> uh... Did I get the maths wrong? Wait, was it triple maybe? I actually don't know what happened there. A uh, vulnerable potion. Don't think it's as good as the ones I got actually. Don't want any of those. It's all about bullet time at the moment. So did I upgrade corpse explosion? I think I must have. Oh no, no, it's there. That's weird. Why did that work so well? Okay. I don't really know what to upgrade now. <laughs> Everything's so good already. Um, so maybe die, 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 or... Uh, maybe I'll do Envenom. No, the fact that, the fact that it's not a very good benefit led me to say that oh, it would be worth it if it was only one energy. And that led me to think, oh, I should upgrade it, because then it will be only one energy. But that, when you look at the forest instead of the trees, what you're really doing there is investing a precious resource into something that isn't very good. <laughs> uh, I have a corpse explosion. I do want it to triple. I don't know why it seemed to do more damage than I expected just then, but fuck it. End boss. It's got to be worth it. Oh, jeez, it's the awakened one. This one's bad. Alright, I got bullet time though. I got bullet time. So, what don't I want? I don't want after images. Everything else I probably do want. Um, nightmare I can use on Glass Knife. Doppelganger gets me extra energy. I think that's it. Oh, I suppose I get rid of this. This isn't very interesting. Yeah, I don't want that. And it's free, so I, there's no point getting it at the same turn as bullet time. I got Terror. Perfect. Okay, now Terra. Hmm. I do have to have to use that, don't I? Because uh, so the 
the dog, when you kill him, he comes back again. And I suspect he'll lose his vulnerable when that happens. But right now I'm dealing with three enemies. And it, it, keeping terror in my deck and not playing it is kind of um, a pain. Alright, I'm going to do build time obviously, but if I can play a different card first, that will help me because I am going to play Adrenaline, which is going to give me two cards. Uh, so I, I just decided I am going to play Terra, so I'll do it now. Yeah, plus taking this guy out faster is going to leave me in a better spot when he does come back. So now I do Adrenaline. Because I've got nine cards. And I've got another Adrenaline. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I don't really know what to do about that. Uh, after I cast Bullet Time, Adrenaline is 100% useless. In fact, since this is an exhaust card, I think I just don't play it. I don't need it. It doesn't help me. I would have to... You know what? It kind of does help me, because I don't need this extra energy. So there's no point... There's no reason not to cast something else before Bullet Time. I can spend two energy before I cast Bullet Time for free. Oh, except that... If I conserve that energy, I get to use Doppelganger on it. So I will. Okay. I take it back. I am going to cast Bullet Time right now. I've got a Wraith Form. That's good. It's a shame I don't have more Wraith Forms. Hmm. That is a shame. Uh, I think, actually... How many Wraith Forms in here? There's three more Wraith Forms in that. So if I do successfully draw two more cards... It's, uh, how many cards are here? There's 12. There's a 1 in 4 chance that each card I draw will be a Wraith Form. It's actually not that great odds, is it? I really want Wraith Forms of Bullet Time in the same hand. That's my thing. So I could cast Crippling Cloud. I could cast Crippling Cloud. I really want Burst as well. That's in here as well. I think I want to do the Adrenaline thing. Um, and I think this is a good card to play. So I'll do that, then I'll do Adrenaline. Come on, Wraith Form. Ah, perfect. Okay, great. Now I've got enough that I should play Bullet Time. Two Wraith Forms for free is a great start. Um, am I going to triple Glass Knife, or should I triple Die, Die, Die? I should triple Die, Die, Die. Definitely. I could even cri triple Crippling Cloud, but that's I won't have the energy to cast it, probably. Except that I'm going to Doppelganger, so actually I will have the energy to cast it. And that is, what, 7 to all? It ultimately does more than 13 damage. It does 13 damage in 2 turns, and then continues to do damage after that. Which is great. And I could Corpse Explosion at some point, and I Corpse Explosion triples things, so I think that's worth it. Huh. Yeah. I love how there's just infinite considerations for everything <laughs> all the time. Okay, Wraith Forms now. Might as well do an Envenom. Um, I'll do the Doppelganger now, I think. Yep, and then Crippling Cloud. And then maybe I do one Glass Knife each on these guys. Because I just want them out of the way. I don't want to be taking damage from three sources. Although I'm intangible for so long, it almost doesn't matter, does it? And they all get hit by the die die dives and the, the clouds. So actually, I should hit him first. He's healing at the moment, though. That's the other thing. No, it's fine. Those those crow guys are going to die before they do it. They're a problem to me. Because them getting strength is irrelevant when I'm intangible. Okay, I've got eight energy and three Crippling Clouds. I've got four Crippling Clouds and I can class them all. It's actually, at that point, wasteful to do it. <laughs> it just doesn't matter that much. Like, they're going to die. They have nine, nine poison now. Um, once they have 26 poison, they're going to be... I think three of them is the most I need. Uh, I've got a bunch of Tools of the Trade. I'm not that hyped about Tools of the Trade anymore. Am I crazy or would Die 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 would have been better? Also, I didn't get... Um... Oh, you know what? I'm going to do this Explosion Potion right now, because that is...
is um, not going to be any use afterwards, and it also lets me do this. I think there's no reason not to take this attack card right now. Oh god, don't play that for fuck's sake. Uh, Alright. I could play a Wraith Form as well. Because this poison is kind of excessive now. I'll play it eventually, but it doesn't have to be right now. Um, and Wraith Form is just a security blanket. It's just nice to have. So then, I will do this. Now, playing any more seems a bit excessive, because these both those crows are going to die anyway. And the Awakened one is going to die pretty soon. If I... Yeah, I think it's better for me to play one Tools of the Trade, and then... Oh, this one went free. Do I have that thing that makes powers... where powers make something free? Uh, in that case, I might as well cast another one. No, I don't know why that unload went free. <laughs> it's fine, though. That will discard all those. Oh, discarding will hurt things. <laughs> Alright. Yep. Just going to victimize that guy. Totally protected from his damage. I won't even need Corpse Explosion, and I've still got all of that. All of those crippling clouds for when he comes back. Which he will. So I think I'm just going to use an unload, probably. I've got to pick two things to discard. Um, I don't think I need Burst. Unless, yeah, because I can't attack him the same turn that he comes back. Well, right, it doesn't matter. Oh, there he goes. And that's not necessary, but might as well do it. Alright, this is fucking in the bag. The, you know, the worst thing about when he comes back is um, that he does more damage, but I don't care. Because I don't take any damage. I've decided not to take any damage. I'm going to do Flash of Steel before I do bullet time, because I want to draw whatever card it's going to draw. And that's good. Get my other Wraith Form in. I don't think Wraith Form's ever going to run out. Oh, he's not vulnerable anymore. Yeah, that is a shame. So now Poison is actually more important, because my attacks are doing less damage. Yeah, this 5 damage every turn, instead of healing, is great, actually. Huh. So... Um... Probably want to... What should I do? Doubling attack damage seems silly if I'm not ever going to cast these attack cards. So I think I'm going to Glass Knife, because I've got double damage right now. Yeah, that was huge. And then I'll do one Crippling Cloud. I could do another Crippling Cloud or I could damage next turn. What have I got next turn? I've probably got some good damage next turn, so I think this is worth it. It's a shame to end with one energy, but... Oh, I could use an energy potion, actually. Oh, I should have done. That would have been great. In fact, let's just... Oh god, oh god, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I was trying to select potions, but now I'm doing this. Okay, I do want to get rid of that card, actually. Corpse Explosion. He'll lose 60 damage to that. Oh shit, no, because I'm... I've got double damage. So he'll lose 120 to it. I think that's worth it. Burst is not useful, because Corpse Explosion can't be cast twice. Oh shit, I lost my cursor. Oh no, sorry. Alright, um... I am going to... Oh no, my... Oh, the controls are fucked up. Oh, this is a real bad time for this to happen. This is a real bad time for this to happen. Uh, oh, jeez. Can I, like, disable the controller somehow? Happy to not use the controller. I just need you to stop fucking around. They do warn you that the gamepad controls are in beta. <laughs> this is, like, potentially the last turn of the entire run. Okay, I should just drink this fucking potion. I don't want to drink this potion, but it's better than discarding it, and I don't think anything else is going to happen until I press something. Okay. Oh no, the controls are just stuck! I can't control anything! Can I use... I can move the mouse, but it keeps forcing my cursor back. Well, maybe now that that's gone... 
Okay, it works here. Oh jeez, I pressed return and it didn't do anything. Ah, it's back. Okay, we're working. Jesus Christ. <laughs> don't do that to me. Okay, I want to throw that potion at him, but honestly, I don't know that accessing my potions panel isn't going to just break the game. Oh, I got bullet time. Nice. Um, I don't want to... Actually, everything is an attack. Huh. I don't need bullet time anyway, because it doesn't help me right now. I think I'm going to do it anyway. Don't know why. This discards all non-attack cards. Everything I have in my hand is an attack card. I'm going to do all of these. And then Corpse Explosion will certainly finish him off. Three times the poison. It's got 30. I don't need that potion. Thank fuck! <laughs> wow, 1,000... I think that's my best ever score with Silent. Obviously it was kind of a wacky Silent run, because <laughs> it was all those rare cards. Not surprising it did well. Yep. That was cool. And so I got... Um, so what was this champion thing I got points for? I can't see my cursor right now, but it is possible to mouse over them. Defeat boss without taking damage, I did that twice, that's cool. Defeat an elite without taking damage. Okay, yeah, I did that eight times. There were a lot of elites, and uh, I had intangible, so that was pretty... Oh, I got four copies of Wraith Form, that, got, that actually got me some points. Got a lot of money. 99 damage with a single attack. Cool. 